Hello everyone, Twinkle Phoenix here and welcome back to Dandelion. As you guys can see, I'm much better now. So I'm gonna be back doing my dandelion. So yeah, um, obviously I started uploading the first episode of both of Jisoo's, Jiwoo's and Jiyoonie's route. So we've only got two more to go and then I can continue on with each of their routes. And yes, I will be covering all the bad endings because I finally worked out how to do them. And yeah, Th remember guys, this is a visual ro uh, romance novel. So this probably be more for the girls or for people that enjoy the visual novels. So yeah, um, bear in mind these can take quite some time to do because I'm actually editing the audio voices for each individual car. If you don't like the particular voice and everything. I remember guys as well, there's a scene in all of these openings um, there's repeated in all of them, so I'm just using something I've already recorded beforehand to fill it in so we can move on quicker. Anyway, let's continue. Let's, of course, go for me and I mean, Gee, hi. I can't even say his god for sake of name. <clears throat> Gee, hi's route. The weather is exceptionally exquisite today. Summer has already passed and we're entering fall. On a day like this, I feel like going outside with my sketchbook and drawing the landscape. Sitting on the grass and drawing into the sh shining sun always lightens me up. I think that means brightens my mood. I want to capture the blue sky on a white canvas on a day like this. Come to think of it, Jihei seems a bit down recently. Somehow he just stares out the window for a very long time. He's not eating much either. Maybe I should take a Jihei out today to refresh his mind. Jihei, let's go outside. Jihei was staring out the glass door leading to the veranda, turned to glance at me and then hopped over. He really seems to understand what I'm saying to him. Jinny followed Jihei as he always does. I only picked Jihei up. Jihei stayed calmly in my arms, blinking his eyes. I'm only taking Jihei with me today. Take good care of the house while we're gone, okay, Junie? Junie looked at me, puzzled. I'm sure he'll be all right. I'll be up for just a moment anyway. As soon as I opened the door, the brilliant sunshine entered the house. I immediately felt better. Wow, what a beautiful day. With Jihei in my arms, I headed towards a nearby park. How could you not be in a great mood on such a beautiful day? bright sun, shining sun, refreshing winds, and my cute pet. It's all perfect. Spreading my blanket on the lustrous park grass made me feel like I was out on, on a picnic. I always had a sketchbook and a few pencils in my bag. The leaves on the trees made a rustling sound with the crisp fall breeze. I drew some lines on my sketchbook. It was such a beautiful and relaxing day and many people were out. Families, lovers, even dogs running around. It's a perfect day. Huh? What's that? Huh? What? Uh, am I seeing this right? <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Are my eyes playing a trick on me? A man who seemed out of this world was standing in front of me. Fair skin, icy blue eyes and silver hair that flowed in the wind. The only word I could think of was beautiful. Is there a movie being filmed nearby and where did my rabbit go? And the clothes that he's wearing. I've never seen such extravagant clothing before. He looks like a noble knight from the Middle Ages. And what's that on his head? Rabbit ears? A pair of rabbit ears and knight clothes? What kind of movie is this? So, this is it. He's speaking, and in Korean, too. The man stared down at his hands and then turned to look at me. Why is he looking at me? Where's my rabbit? By the way, I don't see any film team nearby. Is this what they call costume play, aka cosplay? Or is he a prince from a foreign country? A movie star? I don't think I've ever seen him before, though. So, we finally meet like this. Is, is he talking to me? I looked around, but there was no one near me. I pointed a finger at myself, skeptically, and smiled awkwardly. Me? The man nodded. Did he just nod at me? I didn't quite understand what was going on, but 
but I was so mesmerized by his beauty that I kept staring at his face, which was kind of rude to me. I was looking at his unique outfit and his ears when he said a, a familiar word. Jihei. Jihei? That's what you called me. Jihei, Jihei, my rabbit, my rabbit I brought out you, the one with the lovely silver fur. The beautiful one. I was about to say Jihei is the name of my rabbit when I realized something. I went to point at Jihei, but he wasn't there. Jihei who was sitting quietly next to me just a moment ago was nowhere to be found. I looked around in panic. He's gone. I shouted in shock. My rabbit's gone. He's about this big and really pretty. Oh, no, wait, where is he? I quickly stood up. I can't believe this. I was so busy staring at a good looking man. She actually admitted it. That I lost my pet. This has never happened before. Chia always stays by my side when I take him out. Restless, I frantically looked around. Did someone take him? It's a possibility. Chia is such an exquisite rabbit after all. The thought of someone taking him put me in an even bigger panic. Uh huh. Why is everyone looking this way? No, to be precise, everyone's looking at the man. I'm sorry, it seems I've caused you to worry. I could hear the man's voice from behind. I'm right here, my lady. W what? He spoke in a re regrettable tone, like he was the one responsible for my rabbit gone missing. Just because you have rabbits doesn't make you a rabbit. Besides, those ears must be fake. It's me. What is he on about? I looked at him again. The colour of his ears and eyes, and the way he carried himself. It reminds me of Trihai. I am your pet, who has always been watching over you. I turned around to face the man. A pair of rabbit ears were poking out of his silver hair. The ears are moving. They look exactly like Trihai's ears, and I can't find my rabbit. Trihai? I called the man by my rabbit's name without thinking. He can't be Jihai. Jihai is a rabbit. Yes, my lady. I could feel my face burning upon being called my lady. Ooh. That was my fault there. Let me just check uh, script. What was said then? <laughs> what was said there was... Sorry, it wasn't anything. But how? Even if it's true, how on the earth did it happen? This this is my true self. This spell has been broken. Bell? Yes, the wizard cast a spell on me. The wizard the Wizard, but they only exist in fairy tales. I was pretty sure no such thing as magic existed in reality, but I couldn't find any explanation for the moving rabbit ears on his head or for my disappearing rabbit. The shape, the colour, they looked exactly like Jihei's ears. My lady? The ears are real. As if to prove they're not fake, the silver ears moved once again. They're real rabbit ears. It can't be that they're moving. Are you... Really, Jihei, my silver rabbit, the one that was on the floor beside me just a few minutes ago. My lady. And his hair is silver, just like Jihei's. The man suddenly grabbed my hand. Oh, um, his hands are bigger than I thought. No, what am I thinking? A wizard in magic. Does he expect me to believe that? But the man in front of me is really Jihei. Shall we go? The man carefully pulled my hand. Everything is just surreal, but the ears, they're there. The people. I looked around and saw that everyone was looking our way. Brilliant. They're all staring at us. Just great. Girls were taking pictures with their cell phone and families out for a quick walk, blankly stared at this direction. Great. Everyone's eyes were fixed on this exotic and beautiful looking man next to me. Staying here might not be a good idea. He might whisper the man who claims to be Jihai. Started walking in the direction of to my home. He knows the way home. Brilliant. Watching his long silver hair trail off his shoulders, I followed behind him. For some reason, I became embarrassed. Wherever I was met, I wonder why. 
<laughs> totally normal for your rabbit to turn into a person, really tough. He's such a beautiful person. I lodged out my hand, gently grasping into his. His hands are cold, yet big and soft. As soon as I opened the door upon arriving home, someone rushed out. Eddie. Eddie. Ooh, a lustrous white-haired boy who looked no older than a middle high schooler jumped out to greet the man. How, what is the boy doing in my house? How did he get in? I then noticed the white rabbit ears on his head too. Rabbit ears? Don't tell me. Do you and me? Yes. I can't believe this. Are all my pets suddenly turning into humans without telling me? I just could not believe what I was seeing. This must be a dream, right? <laughs> Shall we go in? Grabbing the corner of his shirt, the pale boy walked inside. When I walked in my house, I became speechless at what I saw. Then everybody just... Turn into humans? This is too real to be a dream, but it's too much of a dream to be real. I didn't have to touch the five pairs of ears to know they are real. Completely discombobulated, I just froze. How? Huh? How? I'm in a muddle here. No lawyers are coming out of my mouth. How can this be? Their unique clothes and exotic looks are certainly not all this world. Look. He tends absolutely flustered. What? He knows my name. Orange hair, mischievous smile, pointed cat ears. Is he Juni? He only looks about 18 or so. Maybe it's because of his orange hair, but he seems a little bit like a juvenile delinquent. Eddie. The boy with the white hair mumbled something in a quiet voice and ran towards the tall man. The man, the tall man with the silver hair, held the boy up like they were used to it. Juni and Jihei? So they were both males after all. Are you serious? She didn't know the one was a boy? That they both were boys? The white haired boy, who I assume to be Jeannie, is very poised. You seem shocked. The long silver hair and clear blue eyes, he must be Jihei. Seeing his rabbit ears on his head makes me feel like I'm dreaming. But he's like a moving porcelain doll. He's, he's majestic. Hmm, dumb wizard. The man who last night claimed to be Jishu grumbled. His pointy ears were twitching a little. Eddie, the cat is said damned. Please be prudent not to become like him. Okay. Jihei spoke in a small voice, but it was loud enough for Jishu to hear. Tension arose between Jihei and Jishu. I can hear you. They all looked like friends when they were animals. Maybe they weren't that close. <laughs> hey, at least we were all quiet when they were animals. A boy with speckled, spotted rabbit ears, just like the one that Jishu has, spoke. Cats, rabbits, they're all too noisy. You're a rabbit too. I'm different from the other rabbits. Can't you see my brown coat? They're just spots. You're just another rabbit after all. I don't want to talk to a carrot top like you. Didn't quarrel like this made my head turn in circles. This is, all this is happening so suddenly. I have no clue what to, I should do. I have five guys in my living room. Hey, stop fighting. Can't you see you're making the food giver uncomfortable? But food giver, is that really my name? Are you really gonna be calling me food giver? You haven't learned my name by now. Wait, hang on. Juni said my name just five minutes ago. Why aren't you calling me that? Good lord. A person who gives food, does he mean me? He must be me. It's a bit rude. Technically it's correct, but it sounds a little weird. The rabbits and the cats stopped calling and turned to look at me. I felt disconcerted with everybody eyeing me. Uh, did everyone change like this? Yeah, the spell is broken. Everything they're saying is just too hard to believe. So are you gonna stay like this from now on? Even if there is such a thing as a spell, 
And even if these guys are eating us from another planet, though I highly doubt it, I can't have five guys living in my house. Living together with five... What would people think? What would the neighbours say? When they found out? That can't happen. You're not happy we changed that? Genie's ears dropped. His eyes started cheering up. No, but the house is too small for six people at M+. Plus? plus? And... What? What is it? What would other people think if they found out? Jimmy Cash is saying that things like... Gee, whoa! Good lord, you don't need to swear! Please, man. Good lord, where did you learn this language? He said it not me, it's like all they beeped it out, but I can assume I know what he said. Give it cash, he's saying that things like beep and the beep might happen if we live together. I'm not going to say what he's supposed to say, because I know what he's supposed to say there. Oh my god. Gee, whoa! What? What did he just say? I'm going to need to wash his mouth with a bar of soap. Did I hear him right? I can't hear my shock. Eddie, what? No, don't copy him, sweetie. Just don't. Do not copy G Woo. It's bad. Don't. Don't. Eddie, what does I mean? Well, that's no. Wait. Oh no, I'm not having you both doing it. No, not the rabbits too. Hey, you don't have to worry about things like... <gasps> Jeez, show no! Everybody stop saying the word! My face became so red that it was ready to explode. You're not my type at all, so don't worry. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jisoo. Thank you so much. That makes me feel so much better. That's not what I was talking about. It's unbelievable how you make such a rude remark so casually. It's okay, it's not to say that you're plain looking, uh, I mean, anyway, trust us. That is just so rude. I feel really assaulted with that comment from you, do you, you, do you need? If you worry about having all this in this tiny house, no one's forcing you. We're gonna stay as animals as long as nothing goes wrong. Tiny house? But it's pretty big for one person. My lady? Lady? Me? The man who I assume to be GA. Lowered his eyes. We'll do our best not to inconvenience you in any way. Does that mean they're going to live? They're going to keep living in my house? Wait, so you guys are animals or man? Men. Well, we're actually, um, how can I explain this? Bunny? Don't ask me, stupid! <sighs> we can turn ourselves into animals or humans, whichever we want. Wait, I can't be sure. Where in the world are you from? Are you even from this planet? This is a drastic problem. The situation doesn't make any sense, but calm down, take a deep breath. But no matter how much I try to calm myself down, people are not supposed to turn themselves into animals. No, we're from, uh, far away. Far away? Where is that? Don't tell me. Well, how can I, how could, how can I explain? I mean, suddenly became quiet. Don't tell me. It's as if no one was at all. It's as if I'd asked something I shouldn't have asked. They all looked at each other, hesitant, hesitating to talk. Oh, don't. We can't tell you. Those are the rules. Oh, for God's sake. I hear that from Jibu as well. Rules? What rules? Whose rules? Rules? What are you talking about? We, we can't tell you either. Why? Because those are the rules. <laughs> oh, God, why? Great. This is really frustrating. I have no idea who these guys are and where they're from. They won't tell me a thing. I have no idea what to do. Uh, I was living such an ordinary life. Why did you say? Why did such a thing happen to me? Why me of all people? What did I do? Hey, you don't like us? No, it's not that. Excuse me, I took care of you all this time, Gibo. Well, even if you were being really awkward to me. But how can I so casually accept that my pet have turned into human? Hey, food giver. You look so cute like that. I'm sorry. I had to bring this out. Doesn't he look so adorable like that? She should look at me with a concerned expression. He looks so adorable. I like his face. He's, he's like feeling really sorry right now. Oh. I like the fact they've all got purple on them. Oh. 
But you're so darling. Why did you guys suddenly appear? Who left you in my room? I'm sorry, but we can't tell you that. Why? The rules. Oh, for God's sake, that answer again. Why me? Yes. Why is me of all people? That's because... Jisoo hesitated. I looked straight at him, waiting for an answer. Tell me. Why did this happen to me? You were chosen. Chosen? Chosen by goddamn who? There's that weird voice I don't know about. What do you mean? Who chose me? Jisoo avoided my eyes. You can't tell me that either. Jisoo nodded slowly. Don't get mad, please. I'm not mad, I'm furious. I'm frustrated by the fact that they won't tell me anything. This whole situation is just too overwhelming. And it's not like I can talk to someone about this. Who's gonna go around and believe me about my pets turning into like goddamn humans with cat ears and you know, rabbit ears? I might come to terms with it, provided they tell me everything, but they're all keeping their mouths shut like they have a secret pact among them. You're not gonna throw us out, right? Juni looked at me with his big, sad puppy eyes, regardless of the fact he's a cat. The right thing to do would be to kick these guys out and go back to life as it was before. I volunteered to take care of five small and helpless animals, not five guys. This, though it may seem a bit harsh, I have no choice but to ask them to leave. Otherwise, I would never be able to return to my normal, boring life. Yes, I should go back to how things were before, as if nothing ever happened. How things were before. I won't have to waste time anymore until I'll be able to spend more time for myself. I can go back to my busy everyday life, but is that really the life I want? I remember how joyful my last three months in the company of the animals have been. Although I was busy and tired from school and after school, school, coming home to them relieved me of my exhaustion. I enjoy thinking about what activities I do with the animals during the weekends, also mention how cute they were. And even if the house got a little messy, even if taking care of them took away a lot of my time, I enjoyed having them. With them, I laughed a lot. The animals, the boring day-to-day -day life became fun. The animals that greeted me whenever I came home are those are these people. The are they are those animals. Mm, actually, I don't want to go back to how things were before. Hats, huh? You should all wear hats or hoodies to hide your ears whenever you go out, and don't make loud noises at home. And during evenings, and when there's nothing special going on, you should save the animals. We can't have the neighbors suspecting something. And you're prohibited from coming into my room during the bedtime. Forget it, right, you don't even have to worry about that. That annoying cat. You may stay here as long as you follow the, these rules. Thank you. Don't worry, we won't cause you any harm. I, I meant trouble, I'm more concerned about trouble. Oh, thank you! Cool thing, but what's a hoodie? You seriously don't know what a hoodie is, Jiwoo. Oh, he looks so adorable now. I don't know. Just say thanks, Bunny. Don't call me Bunny, <laughs> young master. Yes, thank you. I guess this is how things will be before I can come up with a good solution. I must have turned into human. No one would believe this. Not even myself.